This is it, the last ever feedback. And tonight, we're going to take a look back at some of my favorite feedback moments. Stay with us. For the last time, feedback starts now. A very sad evening for me seeing as this is my last ever show here at TV5. I've worked here for four years and hosted this program for three years, but tonight it all comes to an end. But before we get too mushy on the subject, we're going to have some fun. We're going to take a look back at some of my favorite moments on this show. You know, Feedback was created to be TV5's public affairs and interview program, but right from the beginning we did things a little differently. We worked outside of the box to inform and entertain, but still have some fun along the way. Here's a look back at my first year of feedback. Well, that's, that's what I have to say about that. We're actually going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to be speaking with these four over here who have... Who, actually, they were pretty good in the open. We, we tamed them, but we're going to take a break, and when we come back, it's free-for-all with TV5 News Anchors after this. It's all here in our premiere edition of Feedback. Good evening and welcome to our premiere edition of Feedback. I'm Mark Despotakis. Later on in the show, we're going to tell you what this show's about and uh, a little bit about the format of the show. Let's, um, <laughs> let's start with, well, basically, why am I here? Why, why, is, this, why is this? Uh, you are basically filling in. It's a season, mid-season replacement. <laughs> Consider this is on a season hiatus. So it's going to be returning next season, as well as, you're, as I mentioned, you're filling in. You're the mid-season replacement. They have comedies and everything else in their mid-season while you're just a <laughs> so news I, program that's just a mid-season. I can do there. it, too. You can do it, too. Exactly. But, man, I, I know, like, I've seen you driving around the campus or around town, and I've seen the dog in the car, and I was, in fact, talking to someone Oh, we have on the show tonight, and I said, oh, I have Dr. Reinhardt, and he said, oh, ask her about the dog. So, you know, tell, tell us about Maggie. Well, Maggie is five years old, and she grew up um, on Clarion Campus, <laughs> on the Clarion Campus, and of course, you know, for the last two years, I've been down in the new residence, but the first uh, three years, she, she uh, was in Moore Hall, and... <laughs> All right, and we're back, and I have a rambunctious little cat over here. Um... All right, as I said before the break, we're going to talk a little bit about the adoption process. Let's say I want to, I want to adopt this cute little kitty. If you want a rambunctious kitty, here's one for you. <laughs> right. How would you go about doing that? She's a little sweet here. Uh, I haven't seen much of the town um, except for uh, some bar. What was it called? <laughs> Loomis? The Loomis. <laughs> I saw the Loomis. Looks like the lobby of a Holiday Inn to me. <laughs> And welcome back to Feedback. As I said, we're talking uh, local politics, county politics here. The Clarion County Commissioners join us. Uh, John Shropshire, Donna Hartle, the, the Chair, and David Seppert. Thank you guys for joining us. So, Thank you. been in for three months now. How's it going? Great. Great? It's going really great. Mm -hmm. Putting in a lot of long hours mm -hmm. and uh, just going through the paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. After the break is... Uh, U.S. Rep. John Peterson will be joining us. Well, sort of. I did a, an interview with him from Washington last week, and we're going to show you that, show that, to, ugh, 
show that to you in the next segment. I'll do like an Insta change of clothes and then I'll Insta change of clothes back. We'll be back after this. For the, the older crowd, but let's look at what's, what's happening. We have kids shooting kids. Look what happened in Columbine. Look what happened uh, in Michigan, I believe, a few weeks ago with the six-year-old. And I believe there was 26 gun laws that were broken. Uh, would, would two more laws have changed things? No, I don't think so. Guess what party he's affiliated with? I mean, this is just almost too fitting, I think. He is a socialist. So, uh, you know, as you can see that I am, I'm a communist. Um, I've been accused of that on a few occasions, actually, <laughs> based on my views on the program and, and in life in general. So I thought that it was rather fitting. I've actually never heard of the guy. Um, I really don't think he's going to go too far unless a lot of other uh, communists like me get out there. And uh, the first thing I wanted, to, I wanted to talk to you about, I pulled this out of paper. Um, it's been a week or two ago. Um, it was just a tiny little blurb in the TV section. Um, it's about a TV station in Rochester, New York, WUHF-TV. And what they're going to start doing is displaying small text ads across the bottom of the screen uh, during some of their programs. So not only are you going to have every once in a while the two-minute breaks like you see everywhere of commercials, but it's actually going to be during the program you're watching. So look out for that. I will be flipping the channel if I see it any time. But that's that. I had to get that off my chest, throw that piece of paper away now. I think it is really, really strange because this is what we do for contact now. There is no more human interaction. I mean, I'm sure you witnessed it. You go to a store and everybody just walks down this way and walks down the aisle. There is no hello, how are you? When you check out, you put, scan the stuff, put it in the bag and go home. There is no talking. You, you, you don't see that anymore and it's, it scares me. You don't even see people calling each other on the phone anymore. I saw Pat Robertson on there, one of my favorite people, of course. and. He was saying that, he, he was talking against John McCain, saying that, you know, he was speaking ill of George W. Bush and how bad that was. And he says, and you should realize that our enemies are not those fellow Republicans. They are the Democrats. They are the ones who are enemies. And I thought, I thought, wow, this is like the mecca of capitalism. If, for those of you who like the free market and all that, and think capitalism is a great system, go to Disney World and pay two fifty for a 20-ounce water or a 20-ounce Coke. Because we're totally out of time, no time to talk to you. We'll see you tomorrow. There you go. One year here we are, and you saw some clips. Take a look. You see this camera behind me. There are a couple reasons we have it here. First of all, look, we have a little cake. Can you see that? Can you read it? Happy one year anniversary feedback for, for the crew. So, another reason. I'll show you what we're going to do with this camera in just a minute. But um, also, I want to, want to, let me set this down. Hold on. Bear with me. Well, as you saw, I don't look quite the same as I did then, and neither do many of my guests. All right, stay with us. We are going to take a break, and when we come back, some of my favorite feedback clips. Stay with us. Feedback continues after the break.